Oh, a wine rack. This is nice. Hey, fuck the noises. I don't care. Come here. Break the bottles. I don't care. Chris, Chris, Chris. Let's just drink some wine. Glug, 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 glug. You get drunk enough, you don't give a fuck what's going on around you. <laughs> One where the weeping went. She stopped crying. <clears throat> That's right. You drink enough. The crying stops. Why are there puddles of stuff all over the floor? Or is it just like really, really shiny? Oh, yeah. It's just really shiny. Look at that. That's cool looking. That's a nice effect. Although I'm kind of wondering, like, why are there just, like, bright spotlights on the floor, but nowhere in the room? Whoa! The first step is the hardest. Look down, rat puppies humping my leg. No, I don't got no legs, see? My legs are safe from rat puppies. Dude, we're back in the kitchen. How are we back in the kitchen? Whoa, whoa, that door just slammed shut. Please, please, please be a baby in the oven. Please, no, come on, please. Please, baby in the oven. No. God, listen to the fuck. What the fuck is that? Okay, we got apples falling for no reason out of nowhere. Dishes. There's no babies in the oven. That's not fair. Put a baby in there. Get in my belly. Yeah, the garlic is real. Oh, there we go. Nothing in any of them. Was that a picture right there? No, it looked like something I could pick up, but I can't. What the shit is going on? That apple fell out of that painting. Did you guys not see that? Uh, that apple legit fell out of that painting onto the table. Now it's black. I'm gonna pick up this iron and bean somebody in the fucking face with it in a second. Ah, what the? Who's throwing knives? What the? What's going on? Can I pick up the knife? No, it's black. What's what's happening? What the fuck is going on now? I don't want any of that. No. It's the giving tree. Have some free fruits. Some something's knocking on the door. I want to leave now. Can, can we go? Oh, I can play with that. Playing with the scale. We go. It's locked. I don't want to be in the dark no more. <laughs> I really don't want to be in the dark with with gory f fruit falling off of paintings. I'm opening stuff that I can't see, which is weird. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Oh, I can look at the painting. There's something in the painting. Okay. First, I looked for a canvas. Not just any canvas. I had to find a knife. <gasps> Not one of those bread skin. ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped keep my hand steady. What the fuck? What's happening? Okay, I just picked up skin. So he he cut someone and skinned them, apparently. He's a little bit fucking creepy. I don't, you wanted a canvas made out of skin? 
Can you please let me out? I want to go home now. Oh, it does open! Okay, it was locked until I looked at the painting. What's on the other side of that door, though? What? This is not the hallway I came in. Oh, you know what? This looks like that study. Remember those pictures on the wall and the chair? And the easel. No! 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 Where's my chests of booze? Bring me back my alcohol! That's not fair! I don't want no stupid apples. I want my alcohol back! Hold on, what's this? Okay, a book. Thank you. Oh, you open it. Okay, what am I supposed to do? It's not doing nothing. You guys hear me clicking everything on my control. There we go. I don't know how I did that, though. Well, that's how. Okay, that picture I picked up earlier. Hi, love. Even though you haven't been born yet. Okay, that's the picture I read to the girl. Or the, the note I read about my unborn baby after I fell. That's it. Maybe as I pl pick up stuff, this book collects it, collects it maybe? Yeah, because these are the rat things I've been picking up as we go, remember? So this is like my collection room. Shapeless Dreams. This is my collection room. Oh yeah, you see, here's the painting. Remember? I was like, why should I have left that alone? Hate even now. Lost, you deserve it. Finish it. Okay, this has more more letters on it than the last time, too. So this must be like my, my safe room, maybe? And as I collect stuff and I find stuff, it gets put up in this room? Possibly? There should be a light switch, but there's no light switch. Deep breaths, remember you're a professional. It's just the first through few strokes, then you're over the hump. What's so hard about it? Well, I wanted to turn it over. It won't. Okay. So yeah, maybe this is like my, my room. And all these are still locked. Thanks for nothing. What's the point of that? I don't know yet. Something's on the floor. Oh, no, that's the, the, the drawer. Oh, I can do something to this now. It just used that piece of skin I found. So maybe we just use that piece of skin? Oh, look, pink flamingos. Like, really go to grotesque flamingos, but still kind of cool looking, ain't it? Okay, so I'm, I'm a nature artist. I can draw flamingos. <laughs> Daddy birdies. The game's thinking. Something's happening. I can't do anything. Okay, so I guess that piece of skin was like canvas. Oh, the door opened. Was well, the canvas? So that means that this canvas is that skin, and you used it to make flamingos on. Maybe I don't. I'm kind of just shooting at the hip here. Oh no, there's a skin right there. I can see it for a second. There you go. Yeah. Okay, that's the skin I picked up. So this is like a trophy case, maybe. First, I look for a canvas, not just any canvas. Yeah, that's what it said. That's kind of creepy. You uh, you um, just want to have a little altar with this flayed skin and a candle. You know, good luck with that, bruh. You know how that works out for you. All right then. Oh, well, this is different. This isn't the kitchen. An elevator. Good. We got a house so big it needs a goddamn elevator. Hey, the door locked. I, I guess we're going in the elevator because I don't seem to have any other choice. We have to look for the things to complete the painting. 
Okay. So if that leads to reason, then I found one piece and there were six doors. That means I have to find five more pieces, maybe? Eight of us here. Old fucking elevator, I know, right? Okay, so light switch on, emergency stop run. I won't go to the left. It'll go to the right, though. Okay. One piece. <laughs> I'm gonna be the Pirate King. Okay. Whoa, there's something down the hallway! You see that? There's like a chick or something on the hallway walking away from us. Past catches you. Good thing he's not deciding to stop at any of those floors. Let's just keep going up, thank you. Yes, this floor looks rather nice. Let's get off here. I still don't even understand what the point of this game is right now. Like, I'm just walking through a house and a bunch of crazy shit's happening. We're, like, retelling a story or something? Why doesn't he just, like, walk out the front door that he came in? Like, if you're seeing crazy shit, if you're in a house, you walk through the front door of a house, and you're seeing blood and flayed skin and crazy shit and, and rats jumping into fires and, and babies being nailed on the walls, don't you want to just turn around and walk back out the goddamn door? I mean, I'd be like, oh, hmm, picture's bleeding, walls are melting, see you later, shitlords, and I leave, That that's it for me, that's it, I'm done, I'm gone, have a nice day. Okay, locked. No chick better fucking jump out at me, I'm serious, don't even scare me like that. Locked. Locked. Nobody's following me. Nothing's crawling on the ceilings. Why did they have me open these? I've never found anything in any of those. Can I light the candle? Why is everything locked? What am I supposed to do? That locked door is not open. And there's a picture in there. Oh, it's the, the baby face thing that was hanging over the fireplace downstairs. <laughs> this is your think room. This is your, your your naughty room. We have a room set up with a chair and pictures. I ain't turning back. Fuck you. I'm shutting the door. Haha. <laughs> you can't get me with the door closed. I ain't turning back. Oh, I got a key. Okay. A note. Dear sir, why well, I can certainly understand that you are upset and I have nothing but sympathy for you and your wife. I must categorically state that I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from you in this matter. Any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of failure. Having stated that, I assure you that me and my colleagues at St. Anne's have made every effort to ensure that a positive outcome for your wife. What? What? Did I flay my wife and now I want to put the skin back on? Personally speaking, I believe that we have done the best job possible considering the extent of tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your own opinion and I can certainly understand your disappointment. What I do not understand is how you seem to think writing hateful letters to me or my fellow doctors will ameliorate the situation. As I've already stated, I can certainly understand that you have been under a lot of stress of late, and thus I will not press charges if you will refrain from any further correspondence. Let me make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself. If you wish to seek psychological help, I can have my assistant provide contact information for several specialists who would be more than competent to help you get through these hard times. With regards and best wishes to you and your wife, William H. Green, Medical Doctor. I'm a little bit confused right now. Weren't they just like speaking about how happy he is and they're having a family? And then she's pissed about something? Maybe it is. Maybe it's her. Maybe he skinned her and he's making a painting out of her skin. But she's obviously still alive because he wants to skin graft it back on. I, I don't understand. Oh, yeah, yeah. I went with that accent because I read MD on the bottom. And I was like, let's make it Oxford, Harvard, and very, very um prestigious son. 